It's been great. I've really enjoyed it so far. Um, been here about two and a half weeks and getting used to the guys and the town and really enjoying myself and, um, you know, played in Denver for almost 15 years. So getting used to a, to a new city, getting used to kind of getting to the rink and new routine, uh, new faces, staff, players, but uh, I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's different. I mean, uh, you know, Denver's home, so I've been there, you know, most of my career. And, uh, you know, it's, it'll be my off-season home at the where I retire. But, um, you know, sometimes change is good and getting out of your comfort zone and, um, you know, get to make uh, new friends, new teammates, get to live in a different place, kind of see a different part of the world. I've never played in the East before and different part of the country. So um, I'm looking forward to a little less travel and, um shorter road trips and, and all that so I think uh, you know it's it's all new but it's all fun and and fresh and exciting and uh, when I was going through the free agency process Buffalo was pretty much the top of my list the entire time I was going through it and I was happy we were able to get something done and hopefully uh, you know I signed a one-year deal but hopefully I can be here for a few years and get this team to where it wants to go and and get this city a cup. Yeah, it's been a little different. Um, getting getting used to different systems and how the D like to play and everything like that. But you know, your reads are pretty similar, and your experience helps. And um, I've been leaning on that and asking questions. And you know, I knew how everything operated for so long in Denver that it was kind of second nature. So just trying to keep my ears open and talk to people, and can always get better and improve no matter how old you are. So I'm just trying to get better in that way and ask questions and I think guys have been really open and willing to share information and been asking the coaches questions and just different systems will take some time but that's why you have a few weeks in camp and I've been looking forward to getting started and and getting used to everything and so far so good. It's been great I really like those guys they've been uh Super eager to ask questions about some of my experiences, and obviously this is my 17th year pro, and seen a lot over my time in, in Denver and St. Louis, and you know, played in Stanley Cup Finals, Olympics, and all that. So it's uh, information I want to share. And I remember being a young kid and really looking up to older guys that that were my age now, and asking them questions. And I think, you know, when your younger players are comfortable and uh, they can feel comfortable around your older players. I think everything's better in the dynamics. So from that standpoint, I've just tried to be an open book for those guys and and do the things that I've always done, and hopefully it can rub off on them. I mean, on the ice, they're very talented players, and you know it's uh, it's fun to watch them do what they do. And um, I'm here to lend them a hand any way I can on and off the ice, and I'm happy to do so. I would say a little different. I mean, when we were coming off our last place year, I mean, any, anything was going to be better than that. But this team, you know, was one point from making the playoffs last year, and that was playing Florida, and they went to the finals. So, I mean, it's uh, it's a team that's knocking on the door. And, you know, you don't, you don't get free agency signings in the first, you know, 15 minutes of free agency if you're not a team that's on the rise. And that's what happened this year with myself and Connor. And I think guys see that and want to be here. And I think that's a culture the guys have built over the last few years. And... Um, when you just look at the talent up and down the lineup, this, this team set up for success for many, many years. So it was exciting from my standpoint to come in here and, and, and be a part of it. And I think it's a team that's knocking on the door, whether it's this year, next year. I mean, the window for them to con contend is, is open for a long time. And uh, hopefully I can be a part of it as long as I can. And I think uh, the future is really bright. And this is a team that is very close. And I think it, it reminds me of Denver. Um, those few years when, you know, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20, 21. And, um, you know, we, we knocked on the door for a few years and lost in the second round a few times, but ultimately got there. But it's a team that's it's very similar. I mean, the blue line is stacked. Their, their talent up front is stacked. And uh, 
they have a great young goaltending tandem as well. So I think uh, it's exciting from my standpoint. That's why I want to sign here. <laughs> I mean, what do you make of that? What What do you make of, and also, how much How much were you looking for playing with Rasmus? Um, and, and what did you do? Yeah, I was looking forward to playing with all these D, to be honest. I mean, from Samuelson, Power, Yoki Haru, Dahleen, and now Clifton, and Clagger, and Bryson, and, and, and so on. It's... Uh, you know, it was a group that was really intriguing for me to help, and I think, you know, these guys are some of the best in the league at what they do on the ice, and um, I think to take the next step, sometimes you have to see things that you haven't seen before, which I've seen a lot of, and I think I can lend some of that experience, and part of that's off the ice and, and making sure you're ready to go uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, physically, mentally, emotionally, all that. So I think I'm a sounding board for them, and I've just been trying to, you know, practice what I preach, really. And, you know, like you mentioned the, the son, I didn't know he, um, he mentioned that to you guys. But, um, I mean, it's, it's one of those tools. I, I've always tried to find things that can help you improve and recover and get better. And any little edge that you can get in a long season like this is crucial. And we, we, had, a, we had a big sauna club in Denver where, uh, all the guys would sauna before and after games, after practices, and um, cold tub and all that. And just, you know, I, I have a sauna here in, Den in uh, Buffalo myself. So, um, you know, that was the first thing I did when I moved here is fi found a sauna company to come build my sauna. So just, you know, I've been telling those guys that, you know, to have a long and sex successful career, it's it's as much as what you do off the ice to get yourself ready to go on the ice. So I think I've just been, you know, telling these guys what what it takes, and they've been asking questions, and I've been answering, and and I'm doing the same thing. So it's uh, I think we got a little little sauna club for our D. It's gonna be good. Do you remember the stage of your career when you started learning those lessons? Yeah, I had great veterans. I mean. A guy that was um, probably ahead of his time in that was Paul Korea. I really learned a lot from him in St. Louis, and um, he was doing things in 2006 and 2007 that um, not a lot of guys were doing, and that stuff rubs off on young guys, and you're very impressionable as a young player, and I think you, you soak up a lot of information like that, and I was like that, and sometimes, um, you know, you think it's weird maybe at first, but um, if you do it over and over again, it uh, turns into good habits and, and that turns into to good plays. So I think me just watching guys like that as a young guy really helped me and I hope to help these guys that way as well. And, um, you know, as, as much as I'm asking them questions about, you know, where to go eat in town and just how things work within the organization, they're asking me, you know, stuff about what was it like to win the cup? What was it like to play with this guy? What was it like to go through this? And i um, more than happy to share share those lessons and, uh, I take it seriously, and um, it's part of my responsibility. What's it like for you to be in that position? You were, you know, what it was like to be a first round pick and come in and be that young guy, new guy, and now you're the influencer, now you're the mentor. What's, what's it like to go from that to that? Yeah, I mean, I think, well, when I first got here a couple of weeks ago, I kind of wanted to feel everything out and see what the group was like first, and I could tell right away the group was very dialed in, and it's a hungry group, and the guys are super detailed and I was I was surprised how um, you know the buy-in that they that they have for such a young team sometimes it can it can be a little sporadic to um, the day in and day out but every day guys have been you know wanting to get better and they do the things they need to do that and um, just you know me going through that experience as a young guy you know you find out what works and what doesn't and um, like you mentioned, you know, I, I've seen quite a bit in, in my in my time in the NHL and um, yeah, I mean, just I don't have all the answers, but, um, you know, I can lend my experience and try and help them any way I can. And, you know, these guys are going to help me, too. I mean, they're good. They're going to help me on the ice and um, getting used to things here. And I'm going to try and help them and do whatever I can to help them uh, succeed in any way possible.
Yeah, it's great. I mean, I've known him for a long time and um, played college, played AAA growing up and um, played, uh, I've known his family for a long time. Um, so it's, it's cool. I mean, he was part of the recruiting process, getting me to sign here. Um, and it was, um, you know, definitely a, an appealing spot knowing that he was here, just that familiar face. And I didn't know very many guys, but he was one of them I really knew well. So I've been asking him probably a lot of questions um, day in and day out, but he's, you know, he's a great guy and really helping me so far. And you can tell um, how much influence he has here on these younger guys. And hopefully we can be a good, good tandem for these guys. And he's, uh, he's a great dude. And I'm just happy to be able to play with him again, you know. Hopefully it can come first circle and we can win a cup together. That'd be super cool and, um, you know, definitely, definitely one of our goals. No one was coming here two years ago, no free agents. Maybe three, two, three years ago. Um, and, and here you, you are saying that Buffalo's on top of the list. How did that just, what did you see from afar that just changed or hear from afar? Because this was not a destination uh, very recently. Yeah, I mean, I think like, for example, you know, as an away team, you might come to town and it's, you know, it's cold and it's snowy and, you know, you're downtown and you might not see the beautiful parts of the city that are here. And, um, you know, as, as an away team, you don't really get out and get to see what a great place it is. And I came in here in July and found a place to live and really reminded me of, um, you know, going up north to the lake uh, in Minnesota and just going through those small, um, pretty towns on the way up to the cabin and, and when I was a kid. and. Um, it's got a great pace of life. The people have been awesome. I've just, uh, you know, I came out here and looked around and really just liked it. And, um, you know, I'm from not a big town in Minnesota, but kind of reminds me of, uh, of, of Minnesota a little bit growing up there. And, um, and the, the town, you know, has been great. I've really loved it so far and the people have been awesome. And then from the hockey standpoint uh, of signing here, I just, I played against these guys, not often being in the West the last couple of years, but a few times. And, you just see the talent that's here and how long they're going to be here it really reminds me, like I mentioned um, previously, just when we had McCarr, McKinnon, Landis Cog, um, and, all, and all those guys coming up through the pipeline. And you could just see that if, if it wasn't going to be now, it was going to be soon. So I kind of felt like that here. And that was, you know, you want to be on a good team and you want to be on a team that's um, going to be good for a long time. And I think this whether I'm here this year or another year or whatever, I just wanted to be a part of it because I think they can do something special and I can help them be a part of it. So all that combined made me want to sign here and um, I, I, I'm really liking it. I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. Thanks everybody. Thank, Thank you. you, appreciate it.